Play some arts. I want to get stoked for the show. We're going to see them play a bunch of their new stuff tonight. Let's not burn out on it. I hope they don't play all new stuff. I hate it when bands do that. I wish we could just hear stuff off Quip. That first album is so raw. Just excited, that's all. So, Dave, how long have you been, like, seeing Sarah? How'd you meet? Yeah, what are your intentions with this young woman? My mom is paying for gas next to them. The one with the glasses is a piece of work. My name's Esther. I'm not gonna learn your name. Oh, I don't actually care. You can be as dismissive as you like to feel more superior. Also, Dave, uh, their first album is actually Reparte. It was released online a year before Quick. Not to be that guy. That was great. I've got like 14 other people sweat on me, but that was great. What? I thought that new stuff sounded great. I didn't want the encore to end. What? You can take your earplugs out. The show's over. Oh, I know. I totally just love this game. I mean, what? Okay, children, let's play the quiet game. You right? guys, I'm driving. It's late. I need to focus. You kids don't quiet down. I'm going to turn this car back around. You guys should be more impressed with my tire changing ability. I can't believe I ruined my shirt. That thing costs 35 bucks. Sarah, I love you. <laughs> That's just the rush of the accident. No, I, I mean, I, I love you. I wanted, you know, sometimes I can't handle my emotions, but after everything that's happened, I just, I feel very clear-headed, and I don't care if I have to say it in a car full of teenagers that smell like puke. I love you. Oh, okay. Well, let's, um, I'll let you think about it. I love you too. I do. I love you, Sarah. Ever since I first met you. And I don't care if I smell like vomit. If this hipster jerk is going to tell you that he loves you after a near-death experience, then I am too. I'm alive. I'm Percy Winstead. And I love Sarah Waring. You guys, let's not... L let me just focus on keeping us in one piece, okay? Oh, I think you should choose now. I do too. Good idea, obnoxious girl. It's still Esther. Do you love me too? We've only been hanging out for like a month. That's not enough time for someone to fall in love. Yes! See you tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, will I. Bye! Are you gonna be like this the whole night? How am I supposed to act? I told you I love you. That's odd. I'm handling it fine. Maybe I'm more mature than you think. Can't we just talk about it tomorrow? I need to know how you feel. What are you doing? I'm peering into her soul. I'm gonna find out for myself if she won't tell me. I'll call you tomorrow. Did you feel him in your soul? Shotgun. I can wait. I, I've waited my whole life. Why did you tell me that tonight, Percy? What? I thought it was romantic. It was like a movie. Life isn't like movies, Percy.
What, are you peering into my soul too? I'm just savoring this just a second longer. Percy, you're like... I understand now. I do. I, I spoke too soon. I jumped the gun just like... What's his face? But I can wait. I've waited my whole life. And I can wait a little longer. Thanks for driving. Kind of a crazy night, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Does stuff like this always happen to you? Is this what being an adult is like? You think I'm an adult? And no. Thanks, Zod. <laughs> right? I do think Percy meant what he said, though. I think he loves you. I used to think I loved Dave. Yeah? Like, before we started hanging out. I used to think he was just so cool. But, I mean, if you had asked me then if I loved him, I would have said yes. And now? Now that he loves me, not so much. Yeah. That's kind of the way it happens sometimes, huh? Unfortunately. Do you have a crazy story from a concert? Tell us about it in the comments below. Help us out by liking this video and sharing it on Facebook. Your friends will thank you for it. And so will we.